Hey, what's going on, Swift? This is Chimmy Swift here, and I'm back again with another uh, sort of Twitter preview update for some more uh, Minecraft stuff. And uh, I just noticed that Jeb uh, recently just tweeted uh, right here. It says, in the pre-release, there are 161 brewable unique potions. <laughs> That's a ton of potions. Um, unless we change it, there will be 2,653 with all ingredients added. Now, um, that is a crap ton of potions. Like, I don't know, like, how do you even add that many into a game? That's that's insane. Um, you know, if you're going to add that many potions, like, geez, I mean, uh, that's just a lot. Like, I would think for a game, a game that was going to have over 2,000 potions, you would at least have, like, multiple, multiple swords. Not, like, types of swords, but, like, multiple swords, like, uh, different kinds of weapons. Uh, it just seems like really, really involved for the way Minecraft is already set up. But anyways, his next tweet says, the wiki has already found the basic clean potions that don't require a lot of work. So if you click on that, I actually have the tab open here. Uh, we go hop over to the wiki and uh, it says brewing. Uh, brewing is the method by which many potions are made in Minecraft. It is a function that will first be made available in beta 1.10. So for all you haters out there that told me that 1.10 was not real, that it'd be 2.0, no, you're wrong. Notch even tweeted 1.10 one, one time. So here you go. Here's 1.10. Um, they say, according to code found in the beta 1.9 pre-release, two potions are brewed by adding water to a cauldron and then combining ingredients. Um, so what this kind of reminds me of, to be honest with you, is uh, the evil Minecraft mod. And um, there was, you know, there's some potions in there uh, and cauldron in there. So maybe they took the idea from there. Who knows? Um, inspiration comes from all sorts of places. And uh, so anyways, we're going to look at the, the complete recipe list here that the wiki has sort of come up with just to sort of show you guys what, uh, what we might be dealing with here. So we've got health potions, speed potions, fire resist potions, harmless potions, and base potions. Obviously, if it's true that there's going to be over 2,000 potions, the list of, is going to be a lot longer than this. But uh, let's take a look. So we've got health potions here and mundane potion. Uh, that gives you instant health, and I guess that's created uh, by a gas tier being added to the cauldron with water, I'm guessing. Uh, the mundane potion is instant health two, and that's a gas tier, sugar, and nether wart. So uh, these nether wart plants will obviously have a use, uh, and going to the nether and collecting those um, is going to be key and essential, and as, long, uh, as well as the gas tier. So uh, it's gonna make adventuring to the nether um, more important, which is awesome, because uh, the nether was always just kind of blah, you know? It was always just kind of, uh, oh, it's there. I can go kill a gas if I want, but what do I get? I can go kill a pigman. What do I get? Cooked pork? Well, they don't drop that anymore, but they drop gold nuggets. But, like, now there's things to – there's an incentive, which is good. So um, then there's the thick potion, which is instant health health three. That's a gas tier, sugar, nether wart, and blaze powder. And uh, for those three, that pretty much sums up the health potions. The next is speed potions, and this is speed two for th – maybe three minutes time that's how long it lasts i'm guessing uh that is sugar blaze powder nether wart and sugar so maybe it's um maybe it is the way you add them to the cauldron i'm not sure maybe there's an order you have to add them in uh maybe there'll be a new kind of crafting um uh menu square kind of thing that you add them in a certain order i don't know uh but a lot of these recipes seem very similar like this one right here uh, gas tier, sugar, nether wart, and blaze powder. Obviously, it has the gas tier. This does not. But um, other three are very similar ingredients. So, you know, we'll see how we'll see how it comes out. But uh, then we have fire resist potions. This is a thick potion and the fire resistance for three minutes. Um, and that is magma cream. So what I'm guessing with that, the first thing that comes to mind with that is uh, fire resistance. Okay, there's not just natural fire usually found in Minecraft. So what would this? What might this be used for? And my guess is probably swimming through lava, walking through lava. Uh, it will give you the ability to go through those um, without being harmed. Now, I'm um, not sure why this uh, is of an utmost importance. When with lava, you can just pour water on it and turn it into obsidian and walk right across it, or you can build across it. Um, I don't know. Maybe um, maybe they're adding something else that's going to give you incentive for. Swimming in lava. Who knows? Who knows? But the magma cream kind of makes sense. You rub it on your skin and you become resistant to fire. <laughs> I don't know. 
But uh, then we have harmless potions. And the first is a thick potion. It gives you instant health three and fire resist for three minutes. That is magma cream and a gas tier. A mundane potion is speed for three minutes, instant health, sugar and gas tier. Thick potion, speed two, three minutes, fire resistance, three minutes, magma cream and sugar. Um, and uh, the mundane potion, speed three minutes, water breathing three minutes. And that is a spider eye sugar and you dilute with water. It says here this recipe can be diluted with water endlessly to duplicate the potion. So uh, that's pretty interesting. You can kind of duplicate it with um, with water. Um, and I, I think here the uh, speed potions with the sugar um, probably it might they might take a, have taken a playbook out of the clay soldiers mod as well, which if you give uh, sugar to your clay soldiers, they become faster. So I don't know, but it makes sense, you know, like kind of on a sugar high, running around faster, I guess. Um, so very interesting stuff here. We also have base potions, and these are th this is a thick potion. It ampl amplifies speed, health, and fire resistance. Uh, hunger minute thirty is a very common side effect. Recipes using blaze powder cannot be made. Sugar fermented spider eye daily with water can be performed an infinite number of times to, uh, to duplicate and nether wart. And then it has um, a uh, a picture here that we're going to take a look at. Uh, potion brewing. Um, wow, this is kind of cool. So we've got the cauldrons here. Um, this is very similar to the Evil Minecraft um, potion setup, and um, it looks like you probably just brew what you want in the cauldrons here, and then you take your bottle and uh, just right-click on each potion. You get it into the bottle, and then you can drink it later. So. Um, very very cool hopefully the potions will be stackable that would be nice uh, especially if you're gonna have over 2,000 now my question right now is what is this oh this item right here this will be a fermented spider eye it was looking different to me for some reason but that's probably a fermented spider eye but yeah uh, I really hope that with the potions you can stack them um, of like kind did potions obviously not like two different potions but potions that are the same uh, hopefully you can stack them and um, yeah, so that is pretty much it, you guys. Uh, like I've said in the past, I know a lot of you guys don't have Twitter, um, but uh, you know I wanted to uh, to bring this to you guys. Um, you know, be, for those of you that don't have Twitter and they're just interested in new updates and stuff like that. So, anyways, um, if you have not subscribed, uh, please do so. The link will be in the description uh, of this video and above the video as well. And um, once again, my name is Chinny Swift. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.